Uh, uh, uh. Hello YouTubers, I'm from Knowledge I'm Salish and uh, today we will learn how to create a preloader for any web page. So let's start. Okay, very first we're gonna choose our uh, HTML and after that you will use CSS for the you know, styling and animations. So let's start with HTML. Very first we're gonna choose our HTML skeleton. By the way, I'm using bracket and you can use other software like notepad plus plus and anything whatever you want okay the very first i'm gonna choose okay very easy way so i'm going here and choose html skeleton right then i'll use basic html skeleton and ex an external style set because i will code the you know all animation and all styling set in external style set not in same window okay done Oh whoa right here okay we get this thing okay HTML simple it's a simple coding you can easily code this okay this is external style sheet as you can see here okay uh, you can it's very easy okay in body tag we will require only two divs okay for your, our animation purpose for preloader okay very first a parent and as a child okay very first I'll gonna name the parent to one is a load screen and the child one is loading okay so we'll give an ID load screen and child one will give ID loading you can choose yours so whatever you name suggest whatever you like okay that's up to you let's see okay very first I'm gonna give okay uh, load screen it's uh, parents Div. This will parents div, and, and now I'm writing a uh, child loading. Okay, you can see this. So we get the two divs ID load screen. I'm sorry, load screen, and other is loading. And this is a child one. Okay, so we will style this in our external style sheet, and then we will refer this. Okay. Uh, uh, CSS preloader just choose your file where you want to save it and that's it you okay uh, save this okay now we will start in preloader as you can see this here and we'll code and style our in these divs our animation okay we are going on a live preview okay you can see like nothing because we didn't do anything right here okay I'm here and now I'm gonna create a page content for load screen okay I'll style the page load screen a parent div we have you know created in our HTML okay give ID to load screen okay uh, I'm gonna fix the position of because I don't you know want any scrolling and so I just want to keep this position fixed okay you will understand I don't want any top left and so I top zero width also zero Okay, I'm sorry. Left zero. I just want to keep worth hundred percent because I just don't want to show anyone. You know what is going running in background, okay? Before loading. Okay, with and I also keep height hundred percent because I don't. I I also don't want to. So anyone my content before you know preloading this stuff so 100% okay so I'm gonna give a height like jet index so we will gonna use jet index and that I can that's the our preloader we should overflow on the our main content okay okay we should place our preloader ever or over our main content our main page okay so I'm gonna give jet index choose yours whatever I'm gonna give 999 value and one nine more okay okay as you can choose your background I, I'm gonna use it for easy I'll choose green okay just green like green okay 
you can also choose your favorite color from anywhere from like Adobe Color. Okay, so we you can see that that we are on page a green you know green background you can see there it is a load screen. Okay, for now and uh, we are done for our load screen. It's fixed and we gave its width and height uh, whatever you required and the background green. You can choose your own color or you can choose from the Adobe Color. That's not sight. Okay. Uh, so now we are going to create a style sheet for loading okay so we have created hashtag okay we will create a style sheet for loading so hashtag and oh loading okay and now we are gonna give a display Lo loading it will so the only animation part is going on you know for our preloader okay display will set as block uh, position will give fix relative okay i just want to you know position it into center so left 50 percent i'm sorry left 50 percent top 50% uh, I'll give width 125 pixel and height also 125 pixel because I am making a square in this because I just want to create this and now you know okay I'm gonna give margin um, minus 75 pixel that I just want to set into the center that's why I, I want the 0 0 minus 75 pixel okay. border Five pixel. Uh, you can set your own border like uh, uh, like three pixel. Okay, and this will look more good. Solid. You can choose your own. Okay. I just don't want to declare that like transparent. Transparent. Okay. Got it. Border. Top. I'll use border top because uh, why I'll show you later. Okay, uh, border color, border top color. I'll give border top color. Well, you can choose any one. I will like. Uh, I'm gonna choose. Uh, I say brown. Okay, I choose brown. You can choose your own color. Anything. Uh, this is for a learning purpose okay you are not making your favorite preloader so don't dare to ask okay so we are here we choose brown color okay I just want to make it a circle type so I'll give border radius fifty percent okay uh, let's see what happened to our you know okay you can see that's a cutie little circle okay that's is your brown color you know we just want that okay same thing for our preload you will see after that what we're gonna do okay now okay we are going to the next world so now see that what will it do very first uh, we have um, created a style for loading now we'll create a, a style for loading before and loading after you will see how we'll do that let's see okay loading before okay very first we will uh, let content uh, double has because I don't want any content in there so I just keep this empty 
okay because I just don't want that's why it's up to you okay just don't do that okay position uh, I'm keeping absolute because I don't want to play the position so position should be absolute okay top 5 pixel it's up to you whatever you want to give okay left also 5 pixel because I just want it you know and right also 10 5 pixel okay so I'm sorry okay and this will done because I just want to do same with this so I'll you know choose this thing okay copy it and I will paste right here okay you can see that here brown color you can choose your own it's up to you so I'm gonna choose here white color okay okay that's look nice as you can see that can you can you can you okay this looks good okay so this is for our loading before okay Peter, this will look very nice okay just I'm copying it and pasting right here okay this is all changing before to after okay and this because it's now overlapping but if you will change this 10 pixel then but now you can see that there is two line and I just want to change this white color to any color right uh, I'm gonna choose uh, let's say let's say uh, orange okay I'm making very easy for you that's not choosing the name of the color you can see that and we have a very nice a pre dollar like style you can see there's a three color but this is not you know this is not complete we want to add some animation stop in that but for well, let's see what we will do right here the very first we will choose animation okay it's our name animation type I'm gonna choose spin because I just want to spin it okay so time interval for how many time is two second it will two second linear if you don't use linear it will default is okay default is is so choose linear for flawless you know smooth animation okay I'm I want to you know infinite loop so I'll use infinite so I'll give infinite uh, I'm sorry mistake okay uh, this is for Chrome Firefox 16 plus Internet Explorer 10 plus and opera but if you are using about for chrome safari something we should use you know webkit or other thing so i'm copying it okay webkit okay this is done uh, just copy it and paste everywhere in all animation part and like child loading part okay, right here and right there also okay um, but we can see that nothing is pinning nothing, nothing is doing and nothing is happening on you know our preloader screen because the main part is you know left so we are going to add keyframes for our animation purpose uh, like uh, here uh, I am adding keyframe keyframes uh, keyframes name animation spin okay uh, for 0% for in, in initializing okay uh, and for 100% so what effect will gonna take place so we'll write down here okay at zero percent we want transform okay ch changing I'm sorry transform rotate zero degree 
okay and for 100 percent we want transform rotate 360 degree transform rotate 360 degree and now you can see the smooth animation you know going right down here we can see here that it's uh, flawless but it's, it's not you know looking good pile order so we will you know changing the timing is pin timing and we will get to whatever you want okay just imagine we are going to change this stream then two second two second two I mean three second and uh, three second okay let's see what happened now you can see they all are you know traveling randomly and at one point they will meet okay that's look nice okay you can two second two second three second this will go uh, you can change also here as you can see two second two second okay I'm using 1.5 sec and 1.5 sec okay now this is looking so faster smoother okay that's great so we have created our, our you know animated preloader but in our next session we will learn how to apply in our web page but right now it's only look page animated something okay but it's not like preloader but in next session i will teach you and i will let you know that how we will create a working preloader okay uh, right here you can see that key frames like transform and transform rotate but this will not work in other web browsers and because they want they want they don't like transformer for microsoft this is working for you know i'm using chrome right now the chrome internet explorer 10 plus but for different website like safari requires their own you know prefix okay because they are working on webkit okay webkit okay and for microsoft office and this is for you know internet explorer 9 so this is done same for same here for this transform okay transform 360 degree okay webkit MS okay uh, this is all done as you can see that here and that we have whatever you require webkit and MS prefixes we are done with this but now Cree frames also required some other prefixes like webkit okay this is for Chrome this is for Internet for 9 10 plus you know Mozilla 16 plus okay for safari like other browsers use webkit on which is working on webkit platform so uh, we'll give webkit okay keyframes okay this is nice this looks nice okay we are done with this now we can see that's a well you know loading screen okay i sh why did you wait for you? <laughs> okay, now you can see we're completed with our preload or nice loading. You can change your color, you can change, you can work, play with this. Okay, do whatever you want to do. Okay, this is done with CSS animation for preloader. In next session, we will learn how to apply this animation or preloader in our web page with the help of JavaScript. Okay, thank you. I hope you like this video. Just subscribe, like, and share. If you can, if you cannot, then please do also. Okay, thank you very much.